BMW 750 Li. BMW's latest Executive Express, the new long wheelbase 7 Series. Now in its fifth generation, the 7's brief remains unchanged, offer limo comfort, but drive like a purposeful sporting saloon. The new 7 Series uses BMW's latest 4.4-liter twin-turbo V8, in place of the old petrol V12. It also has four-wheel steering in an effort to improve the 7's dynamic ability. And there's a host of new technology, including a new iDrive system, which will eventually filter through to the rest of the BMW range. Demure, high-quality fabrics and dark, polished wood paneling swath the 750 Li's elegant, serious and slightly intimidating cabin. That functional ethos is a running theme. According to the man who designed it, the new 7's exterior, which isn't flattered by photos, is meant to blend purposeful aggression with elegance. This all stands the 7 series apart from its more obviously opulent key rivals, the Mercedes S-Class and Lexus LS. This BMW is a boardroom on wheels, not a boudoir. The 4.4-liter V8 petrol power plant offers an almighty 406 bhp and not so much of a torque curve as a 442 pounds foot flat line from 1750 to 4500 revolutions per minute. 0 to 62 miles per hour takes 5.2 seconds, but it's the way the 750 pins your shoulders back as the speedo sweeps past license losing numbers that's really epic. The 750 leaking demolish distances like few other cars can. It is, you may also argue, a profligate waste of time. This saloon returns 24 miles per gallon, at an optimistic best, and pumps out 266 grams slash km of CO2. BMW admits the 750 Li will make up a tiny proportion of European sales compared with the diesel 730D, which we'll be thoroughly testing soon. The new 7 Series gets three position adjustable dampers, but we found the ride fidgety and unsettled in all three settings, comfort, normal and sport. Our test car had big 18-inch wheels. We tried another with 17s and felt some improvement, but not enough. The 7 Series is also too noisy for a luxury car of this ilk. Above 70 miles per hour, both tire roar and wind noise intrude on the cabin to a surprising degree. 